chapter it's it's a, it's a difficult concept to explain in five minutes or less because there's so many problems with a vegetarian uh, lifestyle and a vegetarian diet um, if you can't explain something in under five minutes you don't know what you're talking about or you don't think your audience is sophisticated enough to understand the explanation Lauren Cordain loves to announce how he's a tenured professor at a d1 research institution so let's see what he has to say. So zinc and iron, uh, long chain omega-3 fatty acids. If you eat a plant-based diet, there's no long chain omega-3 fatty acids in any plant foods. So unless you supplement, you're going to immediately become deficient in long chain omega-3 fatty acids. The list goes on. Um, iodine deficiency uh, is very common uh, in vegan vegetarians. Some that say that uh, say that. Uh vegetarian food is a very unnatural way of eating uh, and you call yeah. it abnormal. In vegetarians, there's an amino acid called taurine that's only found in animal products and, and vegan vegetarians become deficient in taurine and we know it's worse. And, you know, I'm getting old and tired so I can't think of the, the entire laundry <laughs> list so you read my book. <laughs> that's a lot of nutrients anyway. So, uh, vegetarians and Oh, vegans, D6. Uh, Vitamin right. B6 is another one. In your, your view, they, they basically all get nutritional deficiencies. Yeah. yeah if you he can't name any common observable diseases allegedly caused exclusively by plant-based diets because there are none. He's too tired to even make a sales pitch for his book. This guy is the pinnacle of disconnected academic thinking. He's naming obscure micronutrient deficiencies in an attempt to mislead you away from a plant-based diet while recommending you get the bulk of your calories from meat and eggs. How many people are admitted to the emergency room for taurine deficiency or B6? Last time I checked, Americans are dying from heart attacks, strokes, and type 2 diabetes. In fact, 14 of the top 15 causes of death in America are treatable with a plant-based diet. Nine of the top 15 causes of death are reversible on a plant-based diet. Lauren Cordain is trying to scare you away from getting carved up because his dietary advice is competing in the marketplace for your food dollars. Lauren Go back to your ivory tower and practice phrenology on some prehistoric ape skulls, you greedy quack. So, I don't know if I can say this on TV or not, I have this kind of anal personality, and uh, I don't let things go. Yeah, that's called constipation. It's from all that meat you're eating, because animal products contain no fiber. Hmm? We've got some three powerful meta-analyses that have combined all of the epidemiologic studies and all of the rat and randomized control trials and the conclusion of these, the largest studies that have ever been done on saturated fat would suggest that um, it has a very minimal effect on the development of cardiovascular disease. There's been about 10 meta-analyses published in the last few years that promote the conclusion that there's no connection between saturated fat intake and cardiovascular disease risk. The problem with these studies was pointed out by Dr. Michael Greger in his saturated fat studies buttering up the public for failure video, which is that all of these meta-analyses rely on observational studies, which are incapable of showing the link between saturated fat consumption and cardiovascular disease risk due to individual variation. 
observational studies would show no correlation, mathematically could show no correlation. We've known since 1979 that observational studies simply don't have the power to show the relationship. Instead, the real meta-analysis of randomized control trials shows that cutting down on saturated fat led to a 17% reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart disease and stroke. But, uh, for the most part, the human genome was conditioned by high saturated fat intake and fat milk. I think under the context of the paleo diet, uh, saturated fat really has a, a minimal effect on uh, either cancer or heart disease. This is Lauren Cordain's book, The Paleo Diet Revised, written by him in his own words. Quote, Do dietary saturated fats from fatty meats cause the artery-clogging process known as atherosclerosis? If we look at the evolutionary evidence, the answer is a resounding yes. End quote. 